Hey guys, so this is the second video in the series in which we are practicing operations on linked list. In our last video, we have seen how to create a linked list. Now in this video, we will see how to insert a node in the head of a linked list. Head of a linked list also means the starting node of the linked list. So we will insert a node which will become the starting node of the linked list. So let's start to code with me. So friends, as you can see here, this is the code to create a linked list. We have seen this code in detail in our last video while creating a linked list, right? I will also mention the link in the description below for that video. And I am also tagging that link here as well. So if you don't know how to create a linked list, how to write the code for that, you can watch that video and then you can watch this video. But the people who already know how to create a linked list, they can continue with this video. So let's start. So see here, let's first execute this code and see how this code runs and creates a linked list at first. So let's compile the code. Now let's run the code. See. Enter the number of nodes, suppose there are 4 nodes, right? Enter first node, 2, then suppose 5, 7 and 4, okay? So see, this is the linked list, 2, 5, 7 and 4. In this linked list, now we are going to insert a head node. Means currently head node is this node 2. So the node with value 2 is the head node here, right? But we are going to insert an another node which will become the head node of this linked list. So what we are going to do is that I will show you on a whiteboard. So see here. Suppose this is the original linked list. So 2, 5, 1 and 3. And currently this node with value 2 is the head node. But now we will prepare an another node. See here. And suppose the value of that node is uh, 7. Okay. And the next pointer. So as all of you know that this is the next pointer. This next pointer we will make it point to the head node. Which is the present head node right so now this node with value 2 is not a head node now so this is a normal node this, this is an intermediate node now so see i will just rub this title this is not head or start node head node is also called as start node right so now the head node is this new node that is the node with value 7. So what we are going to do, we are going to create a new node and we are going to make the next pointer of that node, this is the next pointer of that node to point to that past head node means which was the head node in the original linked list, right? Okay. So let's start to code now. So see here. We are here to code now. Let's just close this window and see. So what we should do? We should first ask user which value he wants to enter as head node. So see, enter the value which you want to include as head node right so which value you want to give to that head node scan f shall so say it as head value okay at the address of head value this is an integer value so let's see is it yeah so i have already declared it here see head value Okay, if it is not declared, then we will declare, see, head value, right? So we have declared that variable. It's a variable. You can take any variable at that place. 
right now let's write a function to perform this operation so let's name that function as insert node as head node right insert node as head node so what is needed for that function one is the head value will be needed head value and another thing is the head node of the present linked list the start node right see here we are calling that variable for head node as the start node you can see it here start node so if you remember from our past program the start node is the head node means that variable name is the start so both are same start node and head node are same so don't worry so it is the start node now let's write that function so now you will understand it better now you'll understand everything well in this function so now we have actually come into the topic of this video so what is the name of the function i will copy it from here okay now int head value which is passed from there and node star from the there we have passed start variable this start node but here while catching that variable while catching i will call it as head okay because it can be any variable so i call it as head to match with the title of this video like insert head node right so now at first we have to prepare a node correct we have to prepare a node to insert right so first i'll declare node star p then p equal to as you know this statement node star m alloc size of node right so i'll explain this sentence here as well in this video see see this node it is this structure's name okay it is the allies for this structure so this structure is called as this node it is the allies for that structure means this complete node it is written here now what size is requ required for that node what size is required means if there are many variables like in data in a in b whatever it is so see in data 4 bytes then again in a 4 bytes in b 4 bytes then this pointer it may also take 4 bytes so it it is total 16 bytes so this total 16 byte size is calculated there in size of right so i will just delete it see so in this size of this 16 byte is calculated in this case see int data that is 4 bytes and pointer 4 bytes so 8 bytes so that size is calculated whatever is the size okay see different compilers take different sizes so some compilers take 2 bytes for integer some compilers take 4 bytes some compilers take 8 bytes so whatever is their standards right now that size is calculated then m alloc means allocate that much bytes of memory to that node and after you allocate generate a pointer of type node star so the data type of this structure is node right because see struct node is called as node it is the name allies so struct node is also called as node so that is the type of this memory which is allocated and we are type casting it into a pointer that is node star and we are giving it to pointer p so now see p points next equal to null currently let it be null right 
and also we want to insert the data for that node means the head value correct so p points data equal to head value right p points data equal to head value p points next equal to null now now is the time to insert this node at the head position correct so what is the current head that is this head node star head is the current head so p points next equal to head correct so what we have done we have created a node with head value with head value we have created a node and this is the next pointer which points to null currently right so this is our node which we have created just now now we want to make the next pointer of this node to point to to the head right currently this is the head for this linked list so we made this new node this new node which is pointed by p we made its next pointer equal to head correct we made it we made this next pointer p points next equal to head now the present head will become intermediate node now so see here this will not remain head now this is not head now this has become intermediate node so our new node should be assigned the name head correct it should be the head now so head pointer should point to that new node so i'll make it see head equal to p correct see this is the node p as you know node p so head equal to p means now head will point to node p correct so this is our new head this node is our new head so this is it we have inserted the node at the head position and from here you have to return the head to our main function because it should understand what is the new head now and what we have returned we will take it in start variable because in the main function we are using that head as the start variable both are same head and start is same but just the variable name is different in main function we are using variable start and in that function we are using the variable name head but both are same okay so so start new start is taken here and i will just and now let's print see p is equal to start as you know how to print see while p is not equal to null print f slash t percentage t i will give a slash n here to print the output on next line slash n okay so i have given slash n there to print the out next output on next line correct now let's come back here slash t that is a space between every element correct percentage d and print the data right we have printed the data and p equal to p points next that's it so we have printed the new link list now let's see whether it succeeds or not it may throw some errors let's solve those errors okay so what is the print was not declared it is not print it should be print f okay print f and let's see whether it compiles now yeah 
run it so let's take four nodes this is our main creating a linked list execution and after that a prompt will be displayed to insert a node okay so let's create a linked list at first so enter the number of nodes four what is the first node five suppose seven two one okay so see five seven two one and there is something displayed as enter the value which you want to include as head node but this doesn't look good because we have forgot to enter to the new line i'll close this i'll write enter here see i'll write enter here so that it is displayed to the next line it looks good right so let me compile it again and run Okay, number of nodes is four, four, seven, three, two, right? Four, seven, three, two. This is the linked list. Then enter the value which you want to include as head node. So let's enter. Suppose I want to enter eight. Oh yes, eight is inserted at the head of the linked list. Correct? C. So in this way, we have seen how to insert a node at the head of a linked list. Now our next code is how to insert a node in the middle of the linked list, right? So please like this video and subscribe our channel to get more such videos. Thank you. Hey friends, please subscribe to my channel as I post algorithm videos every day. And if you want a video on any particular topic, then please mention in the comment below. Thank you.